What is going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? Revolution Hell Cowboy here. And after such a long wait, feels like an eternity, but honestly, it hasn't been. <laughs> I'm back with our monthly wrestling figure pickup video. And after this, I'm going to try to go back to weekly, every two weeks, you know, pickups. Because honestly, you know, early in the year wasn't really the best time for me to do videos. The place I was living at kind of sucked and it was hard to have privacy. Yeah, I know I have done a whole videos as of late, but at least I have a little more free time to do videos when I do have the chance. Just busy at work, but hey, I gotta keep making that money to, you know, stay in my nice new place and still buy figures to show you guys. Figures that I want to review sooner or later. And lots of cool figures here. Now, last month, I didn't pick up a lot of good figures. I might pick some decent figures, not bad figures, but I just didn't have the best luck in April. I mean, January through March, I had very good luck finding lots of good figures. So maybe April was just a down month. I'm hoping now that a lot more figures are starting to show up, like Elite 20. Some places are fine, Elite 21, Basic 28. And maybe I'll start picking up more since... You know, these are my purchases for May. June is already starting as you're watching this video. Like I said, I've had this video sooner if I wasn't busy, but... You know, hey, I picked up a lot of awesome figures. One's in retail, one online, and even some flea market purchases. So first, get into the my only basic purchase, because I mostly bought a bunch of elites. I even bought some TNA figures, too. So, get to this figure first. Signature Series CM Punk. Pretty nice figure. I've seen this figure along with... Um, Signature Series Cena and Sheamus. Did not see uh, The Rock or Sin Cara, even though I probably would have picked up The Rock. And I can't remember else is in the Signature Series set, but definitely I get CM Punk. You know, he's one of my favorites. Pretty nice figure, even though it's really just a repaint of Basic 18. And I believe this same tire has appeared in a battle pack. Still a nice figure. You know, on the back it shows the signature of CM Punk. So, pretty cool. I, I mean, I'm a CM Punk fan. I have that in my collection. So, like I said, the only basic I purchased. So far, Basic 28 hasn't hit my area yet, as of this video. So, I'll maybe try to go hunt this weekend and hope I have some luck finding Tent Tai and Sandow. Now, let's get to my Elite purchases. Picked up a crap load of Elites. Um, starting with oldest and newest. Um, most recent, you know, or the earliest uh, Elites that I can still find. Uh, Elite 18. Somebody better call his mama. It's Brodus Clay. And I don't know if you guys can see that red jumpsuit. It's, I don't know if my camcorder does much justice. Maybe you guys will see it better in the video, but... Let me move CM Punk over. Pretty nice figure. I mean, I'm not the biggest Brodus Clay fan, but I do like this figure. It's better than any of his basics. You know, I was like, you know, if I'm going to own one Brodus Clay I really, figure I really want, it's got to be this one. I already have Undertaker, uh, Jerry King Lawler, and and uh, Wade Bear for 18. I also have my nephew Sin Cara figure here, so I have most of Elite 18. Just Ray still left, and I the Walmart I went to. And sorry, I can't do any tour run videos. I mentioned it in an update last month, or was I was showing you. I found like four Bros Clay, so it, I don't know if I'm gonna go out and buy any more Bros Clays. But if I ever do decide, I want to go back to this Walmart that I went to that. Had probably still has a Rose Clay stock, you know. Maybe I'll pick one up, <laughs> maybe for a loose figure review or something. That's still not a bad figure. I was like, what the hell. Next figure I'm gonna pick up. This figure was super hard to find. Never found it in retail. You know, Walmart seems to never want to carry this figure. Target sucks ass in my area, and I had how much luck to find it at Toys R Us, so I had to buy it online. Elite 19 flashback, Miss Elizabeth. Or as the Macho Man would say, Miss Elizabeth. Ooh, yeah. Pretty nice figure, Miss Elizabeth. I mean, first time in the line. Probably the only figure we'll ever get of her. I, I mean, I had that to my collection. Being a Macho Man fan, you know, maybe both he and Miss Elizabeth rest in peace. It's been 10 years since Miss Elizabeth's death. Now, this is going to be pretty funny, and you guys won't believe this. I bought this figure for only $1.99. Yeah, with my own cash, a dollar ninety nine now. But here, here's the catch: I bought it off Amazon through a through a, um, a seller called Replica Wrestling Belts, and they're actually a store somewhere out here in Kansas. 
The figure was $21.99. I was lucky to have 20 bucks in gift cards on my Amazon account. So yeah, you do the math. I mean, I saved myself 20 bucks, only spent a dollar ninety nine. I mean, how awesome is that? How many people can say they bought a Miss Elizabeth figure for about two bucks? <laughs> Especially when people on eBay want at least 35 to 50 bucks for this figure. So I'm glad I finally have her in my collection. I felt my collection was not going to be clear because otherwise I've already got almost everybody in 19 except for Dan O'Brien, who is a freaking peg warmer. And no offense to Dan O'Brien, I like Dan O'Brien. And then, you know, Kane. I haven't seen Kane anymore. Or in basic form. But, good to have Miss Elizabeth. Now, uh, Elite 20 has popped up in my area. I already picked up Christian in one of my, uh, my last figure update. And Christian's been, unfortunately been a peg war along with Santino and Cena. This guy's also a peg war, but you know what? I said, what the, why not? I was going to get him anyway. Since I don't have that many figures of this guy. Dash and Cody Rhodes. It's an alright figure. I get her sell people don't like it. That head scan's kind of goofy. You know, he doesn't have his mustache, of course. You can always paint off if you want to. But I was like, why not? I always got to add to my collection. But, it doesn't stop there. Everybody knows. When it comes to Elite 20, I already made Flashback Christian. There's only two figures you got to really have if you want to collect all of Elite 20. So, I'm going to move these guys off. I love Miss Elizabeth. And these two guys are going to get ready to face each other here in a few weeks at WA Payback. The best in the world at what he does, Chris Jericho, Y2J. And the best in the world, Straight Edge, longest range champion in the modern era, CM Punk. So I'm going to try to move them over a little bit so I get both in the shot. I got them both at the same time. And I had to have both these guys. Being that I'm a big fan of CM Punk, I'm a big fan of Chris Jericho. You know, I mean, like I said, you, you can't have all of late 20 about these two guys. That Jericho is very sweet with that jacket. I mean, the, the pose is goofy. It'd be better if it was turned backwards, you know. Have, have Jericho facing you from the back, but... You know, they gotta obviously have his face showing and everything. That smirk and hit scan. Now, CM Punk... He wasn't too hard to find. Here was Jericho. But, I'm glad I got my CM Punk while I did. Since, you know, he has that nice head scan. Pretty cool attire. The belt, of course, the yeah old out of date belt that's not being used anymore. But um, like I said, I'm glad I got my figure because the only other punk I saw at one of the warrants I went to, the belt was stolen. And the words of Zack Ryder, really? Or no, wait, sorry, I'm sorry, or no, I'm sorry, the Miz, I'm sorry, Miz goes really. Zack Ryder go, are you serious, bro? There I go, butchering my phrases and stuff. I'm sorry, guys. But anyways. Yeah, someone stole the belt on one of the CM Punks that I found. Well, actually, both Punks had the belts, but the only next time I went to Walmart looking for other figures, you know, somebody said I take the belt. And I've seen the same happen to Elite 19 Shawn Michaels. And once that happens, those figures are going to warm the pegs forever. And there ain't a shit the Walmart employees are going to do about it. It's really sad. I'll never understand it. A kid also couldn't get the figure, you know, so just steal the belt. Or it could be a scalper, but scalper at least would have bought the figure. But, eh, oh well, hey, I got mine, so I'm happy. Now, like I mentioned, I didn't just buy WWE figures this month. I also bought a couple of Impact Wrestling um, Series 9 figures. Gail Kim. And Magnus. And I'm sorry I'm covering up my WWE figures. For those of you who just came to see WWE figures, I'll move them out of the way here in a moment. Both are very nice figures, and for those of you who you know, aren't too much familiar with all the TNA figures, of course, here's all the other guys in the TNA line. Like Austin Aries, Daniels, Jeff Hardy. And I got these at Toys R Us, which so far is the only place I can find TNA figures. Now, everybody was available but Jeff Hardy and was one of each of them. Um, the only reason I passed on Daniels and Aries is I thought maybe I'll find them later on or I'll just get them online since TNA figures aren't really in that high of demand as WWE figures are. But I still thought these are the two that I had to own. Just for the reason that um, Gail Kim is a knockout, you know, which... Knockouts just like WWE's Divas or any figures of them are hard to find. And Gail Kim being a former Diva, she was supposed to get a figure from Mattel before she left for TNA. So, definitely had to get her in my collection. And Magnus, to my knowledge, this is, my, this is his uh, first figure. That's a pretty nice figure. Yeah, it's, you know, the, the TNA figures are all scaled WWE figures, but still, you know, it's good to have this in the collection. 
I thought, why not? If I ever see Daniels Aries later, play with Toys R Us again one of these days, then I'll pick them up. Jeff Hardy, I don't know. I'm not the biggest Jeff Hardy fan, but maybe sooner or later I'll get my hands on Jeff Hardy. Alright, and finally, like I also have mentioned, I picked up a few figures from the flea market. These are actually loose figures, but they're, for the most part, complete. They don't have their display stands, and these are figures I missed out on. They were actually in retail when the Mattel line came out, and I wasn't really hardcore collecting Mattel at the time. I was still kind of more Jag specific and Target Man's Latina figures, so get them all out. And please forgive me if I get their Elite Series um, that name's wrong. I mean, like I said, I missed out on but I know for sure there's Undertaker, who was in Elite Series 1. Shawn Michaels, who I think was in Series 2, but I'm not sure. And the game, Triple H, who I think might have been in Series 3, but I mean, I kind of a little bit mixed between Series 2 and 3 with HBK and Triple H. I know I've looked up that Triple H was also in the best of 20, um, 2010 set, and there was a variant with a water bottle. But hey, I'm actually happy to have these, and I paid only 30 bucks for all three of them. I mean, I got one hell of a deal. Because the guy that I bought them from the flea market wanted 12 bucks for each figure. I got them to go down to 10 for figure, so not a bad deal. Especially since these figures, even out of the package, go for like 20, 25 bucks or more. So I'm definitely have to have these. And um, I'm actually planning on going back to the flea market um, this coming Sunday as I'm doing this. Try to get a few more figures. So once I get those, maybe I'll do a flea market update instead of making guys wait a month. Because I know this feels already running over 10 minutes and um, wasn't my intention, but, you know, I've still got to explain stuff. I hope to, you know, things will be much better in the new month that I can maybe do better videos. I mean, I'm, I'm trying, guys. Um, just try to get more figure pickup videos. Once again, I'll try to do weekly instead of monthly, along with trading card videos and uh, reviews, which I hope to review these three for sure. Everybody else I might review if I get a second one of each one of the figures. Or I'll do mail card reviews. Still a bunch of very awesome, nice figures, you know. All good additions to the collection. Once again, show off everybody that I got. And hopefully I'll have luck in June finding Elite 21, Basic 28, and you know, maybe Basic 29 or whatever it says I can find. To add more awesome figures to my collection. As always, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to rate this video, leave your comments, and subscribe for more wrestling figure videos, or if you like Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, and so on and so on. As always, I am Revolutionary Cowboy. Rock on and keep collecting.